How's it going, PlayStation Nation? And welcome to Podcast Select, the one and only, the number one PlayStation podcast from KaiMines.com. I'm Jamie, and joined by the one guy who cannot handle his drink at Alcon, it's Dan. That's bullshit. I didn't. <laughs> the only thing I drank at Alcon was alcohol, and I did not get hungover once. True Irishman there. Yeah, well, I <laughs> did I not do my magic power on you? What magic? I know, I did it on, on, uh, on Eugene. I, I would go up to someone that looked drunk, I would place my hand on their forehead and scream something in Irish and absorb the alcohol from their body <laughs> into mine. <laughs> It's Kali kind of it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like in um, that movie Paul, where like the pigeon dies. And I absorb the death and then just swallow right. it, and you know all that cool shit. I didn't get hung over once at Alcon. I'm a heavyweight. Big Lies. No. You must have got hangover at least once. The amount of shots you were doing. I got a headache for a minute w- one morning. Then I was okay. like, wait a minute, I'm no bitch. <laughs> and then I, I sorted it out. I'm an Irish man. I'm it, it was bitch. really funny because um, David was hungover and he wanted to get a he- like a um, paracetamol, but he couldn't yeah. find any, so he just took a cold and flu fucking tablet instead. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. It's yeah, a hangover, yeah. mate. Yeah. Anyway, that was funny. That was funny. It was. It was gas. So yeah, we went to Alcon the other week. It was really yes. fun. It was it fun. Was so fun. The venues were shy. The people yes. were fun. We but, got complained. Um, but we like, can't we blame them for that us. because it yeah. was the just an unfortunate event. And did you see that someone actually wrote uh, a review for Alcon and like called us out? Called us out. Called like our group out. Us someone, in particular. Yeah, us in particular. They they said I can't remember the the whole thing, but a few of his complaints were the retro game room sucked because the Japanese games were in English and not Japanese. <laughs> That was one of his big complaints. <laughs> okay. And then his other complaint was um, some attendee, attendees or attendees were stealing traffic cones, which is illegal. And, and because of that, he felt ashamed to be associated with us. And I was just did thinking you, to myself, you bastard. That we're was really last nice year. People. We've changed people. We did not steal traffic cones yeah. this year. Uh, no. We, oh, wait. Did you go home? Because we did steal traffic cones. <laughs> You, did you? You yeah. stole it in the last day. <laughs> yeah, we got three traffic cones. We used one to hold open the door. We put one, we put two actually in the elevator, and we ripped off a piece of a Domino's pizza box and wrote on the back, uh, "Under construction, please don't remove," and left it like on the traffic cone in the elevator. <laughs> 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 Loads of people complained that as they said we broke the door because the the traffic cone held the door open for too long and it got jammed. Which is bullshit because doors I hope, I hope no one from Alcon is listening to this podcast, otherwise they would be charging your asses for the damage. Well, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got no, no proof. proof. No proof. Just I could say, be lying. I'm not even Irish. Recorded testament. Ah well yeah. From the victim. Ah, be anyway, Dan, let's move on. What mm. games have you been playing this week? I've actually or been playing games this week, which is a miracle. I played I I played and completed Journey. Uh still overhyped. It's okay. Yeah. Overhyped. 10 yeah. out of 10, too much no, sand. No, I, I reckon 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. It was a good game. Very good game. It was good, but it was overhyped the fuck. It was pretty... No, fucking... you ah, just I... don't understand the artistic. Ah, right. Artistic, it. artistic is all the same. <laughs> anyway, um, that game was cool. I tried playing... Ooh, what's the other game that came out? The Dark Souls ripoff. Oh, uh, Lord of Shadows. What's it called? It's not called Lord, Lord of Shadows. Lord, yeah, Lords of the, the... Fallen. Oh, is that what's called? Anyway, yeah. that that one that we're thinking of, I played a little bit of that. It's just it's not the same. I just get that like mid tier feeling when I play it. It's kind of like it's alright. Mm. Um, then I've been playing some UFC, some Rocket League, of course. Of course, of course. We tried joining a tournament at Alcon, and it was full. We, we missed out the last few minutes. Mm. They're they're lucky I didn't get in because I like I don't want to beat everybody there. You know what I mean? I want <laughs> yeah. I want people to at least think they're good. Yeah, you know. I don't want to go in there and just, you know, walk all over them, dance on their grave, piss a little bit. <laughs> Funny story, I know someone who pissed on a grave before. I don't want to know. That's just, that's just sad. Family relative. Ah, oh, that's Shout out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I've been playing, really. That and one other game. Uh, no, fuck it. That's it. Can't remember. Okay. Well, Sims 4. what haven't I been playing this week? Oh, James. You know I like my sales. Oh, I do shit. like sales. Oh. On the PlayStation Store, I oh. got Knack 2. 
Knack 2, also known as Ratchet and Clank, the remake. Hey, that's a good game. I plan on that on two days. That's a really good game. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm really interested in it. Now. It's padded the fuck, though, towards the end. Yeah. Uh, Alien Isolation. I haven't nice. played much of that yet, so I've got no... I can't form an opinion. That's pretty Mad good. Mad Max, I got on a pre-owned sale Ooh. from game. It looks quite interesting. Yeah. And Street Fighter V Slightly Completed Edition. <laughs> Slightly attempted to be made edition. Yeah, that's even better than mine. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, um, I'm, Jesus. I'm enjoying that. But it's like with my fighting games, I like fast paced action. I like, but Street Fighter Five is what I thought Street Fighter would be from the start, and that's very technical. Yeah, unlike so, although Tekken is more, it's just as technical, if not more technical than Street Fighter is. I I just find the fast pacedness of Tekken more. Uh, appealing mm. to me I'm more Street of a Fighter. Mortal Kombat kind of guy just because I'm not very interested in fighting games and Mortal mm-hmm. Kombat is just a game you can just pick up and just see what happens like mm-hmm. don't play don't play fighting games online though. <laughs> so, so hey, I, I asked for them um, I went on to a ranked match uh-huh. because that's a good place to start if you're just lower rank casual does not do it casual just puts you with anyone mm-hmm. but ranked puts you with your lowest uh, the lowest available rank yeah true I was ranked zero, as you would expect. Mm. And I was pit against someone who was ranked 95. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> did you win? No. Did you, did I, I you, did you hit him? I, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. I got close a couple of times. I, I got close a couple of times, right. but it's still at the same time. It's like either their systems are bad or everyone was full at the time. Mm. Well, it's know. like that on UFC as well. It's even worse on UFC, so I'm not going to yeah. talk about it because I, I doubt anyone cares. Right. Actually, that's another thing I did. I stayed up till five in the morning watching the UFC 203 event with CM Punk. You know the wrestler guy? He does UFC now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got he got destroyed. He got choked. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a minute and thirty nine seconds in. The guy just goes for his legs, takes him down, punches him in the face, chokes him. Done. <laughs> I fell okay. asleep so fucking fast. <laughs> right. So, shall we select the first segment? Yeah. The segment is news. No. There isn't none. Let's send that to the There really isn't. <laughs> there isn't. We don't the look. PlayStation There's um the PlayStation meeting and the iPhone announcement Those are headphones. dominating the gaming news at the moment. So this it's been very slow and I think that's obviously deliberately because if anyone releases news they're just going to be shadowed out by mm-hmm. uh this sort of news. Except there was Yakuza 6 Mm-hmm. announced that yeah. the entire game of Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown Edition will be playable within the game itself. So That's pretty if, cool, you, if you're not a fan of the Yakuza uh, series, then you might not know this, but in this in the games, there is an arcade that you can go re- to uh, show off what Tokyo is like. Or is there a the pachinko machine? There are pachinko machines. No way. I Metal Gear Solid them. Three. I don't know. No, no maybe yes. not that. Yes. Maybe not that yes. realistic. <laughs> but if you you just go in these arcades to resemble real life, and they have some good games there, some real life games, some made up ones just for this game. But this time they have <gasps> Street uh, Street Fighter Five, <laughs> Virtual <laughs> Fighter Five Final Showdown. They will have Outrun, uh, Poyo oh. Poyo, among others. So it's going to be interesting. I do like the. The way they integrate the games into it. It's a nice... It's an it, yeah, it sounds egg, pretty but cool. But it's technically a full game at the same mm-hmm. time. So. No, that, that sounds cool. Very so, nice. Yeah, that's really the only bit of news that's interesting, or at least PlayStation related. So, yeah. And thanks for listening, guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs> now, until <Boy>. next week. <laughs> yeah. until, until next month. <laughs> we don't do weekly anymore. <laughs> we try to do weekly. It's we just try, like, we try. Yeah. Anyway, right, so let's go into the segment because we've got no other news, believe it or not. What's our segment? Uh, It's disappointment. It's disappointment of the year. It is disappointment. It is outrageous. It is an unforced error. It is a shitty name. It is the PS4 Pro. I will stop you there. PS4 Pro is a good name. Eh. Could because have, I should have called it 4K. It was funnier. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, with the PlayStation 4K Pro, uh, 
Fuck's sake. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking over. <laughs> the PlayStation 4 Pro is a perfect name because it shows that it's still integrated within the PS4 family. Yeah, true. With the, uh, the original, the Slim, and now the Pro. So you can have uh, the normal PS4 and won't get left out. It just means PS4 Pro is more... I would a more elite console, as it were. So, like when when I can't remember their name. Xbox announced that the who are those guys again? <laughs> yeah, who are those guys again? Uh, Xbox announced a slim. They said it will only benefit you if one you don't have an Xbox, or two if you have a 4K monitor. That's mm-hmm. really it. Uh, Scorpio is said to be even powerful, and it hasn't changed the fact that PS4 Pro has been announced, and they're adding more stuff to it, apparently. So. They're adding more stuff to the PS4 Pro, or the Xbox? No, the Xbox is the being Xbox added one. to okay. Because when the PS, uh, PS4 was announced, there was rumours that Xbox had to change up their system. Mm. Uh, the Xbox One had to change up their system to make it slightly more powerful to compete, at least. But I'm not... There's no... What, did he add more teraflops? <laughs> it's all about What's the teraflops. Teraflop? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I'd, it's a lot of fucking PC mastery shit. <laughs> Fuck off with your teraflops. Right, so Dan. Yes. I think I know your answer. What did you think of the event? It was fucking shite. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking dreadful. My first complaint, I only, I only like spotted this like 20 minutes through the conference. I was like... They're showing off 4K footage on a 1080p stream. To be fair, mm. uh, the people in that room were t- developers. Mm-hmm. They were people that were in the industry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they were the ones invited. So they would experience it in in the yeah, the no, full, but the 4K. majority of people that would yeah, have well, that's been why they said to the people it. watching at home. Obviously, we can't show you it over mm-hmm. the stream because even if we could stream at 1080p, it's going to be low quality because of the amount of people watching. So we'll re-release it on streaming services, i.e. YouTube, etc. But e- even then, like no one has a 4K TV, really. That That is why some They're a lot cheaper than what I thought, though, when I actually looked into it. I'm well, like... it's basically the same price as what a PS4 was yeah. at launch. The mm-hmm. Slim is going to be cheaper because it doesn't need to be. And PS4 Pro is basically the same price as a PS4 at launch. Maybe yeah. slightly more in the UK because of the Brexit. So, Your yeah. You're Brexit. Getting the ported. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, that, that, that was one of the biggest complaints I had was that it was a 1080p stream. Or like if you're lucky, a 1080p stream. Because not everyone can stream solid fucking 1080 with a, without a buffer and a rant like that. Mm-hmm. But like that, that was just something that annoyed me because yeah, like the people in the room could like then go and talk about it and stuff. But there's only like a handful of people in there anyway. It's not like mm-hmm. there's like thousands of people in there, and it's just That's all journalists, people, and to stuff. Be honest, <laughs> yeah, I don't like it because I can't see the full potential. Of well, it. no, because well, like the, the whole point of the pro is apparently so that you can play shit in 4K and stuff like that. But then they're not showing 4K off really. To it's, mm-hmm. it's like trying to show off VR and stuff like that. But you, they just, also, you can't do but, it unless you're there, seeing it with your own eyes, like. Do you have a full 1080p TV? Yes. Do you have a uh, URD TV? Oh. Which is LED. I have no idea. No. Nope. I just right have then. a TV. Well, you can <laughs> yeah. You can get the uh PS4 Pro and benefit from it because obviously extra graphics, it's slightly smoother no, frame no. rate. So if you don't have a 4K TV, you'll you can still benefit from it, and the games will be programmed to recognize that. Oh, you're only streaming on a 1080p uh, TV, so we will be changing it slightly to lower it down, so you're not losing quality or distorting quality. Well, one thing I did really like was that I, d- I didn't expect the price to be that low at 350. I thought it'd be a bit higher. I thought it'd be mm-hmm. like 400, 450, or something like that. Mm-hmm. When when they said 350, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a actually very smart move. Yeah, that's it's actually probably pr- way cheaper than what move. I thought. Yeah. But then when when I think of the price, I'm like, hmm, is it cheap because maybe the sparks aren't as high as what we thought? Because with, with the Scorpio, they're all talking about their fucking teraflops and all this shit and uh, stuff like. Is, was has there been a price for the Scorpio yet? No, no, okay. not at all. Right. Well, this will probably fucking try them now with this 350 price mark. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, when I saw it was 350, I was like, oh shit, that's actually I can afford that. 
if I yeah. save up a bit of money. Like, but um, yeah, because th- then I got worried. I was like, is the three hundred fifty pounds reflective on the actual specs in it? Because yeah, they have a higher, a better CPU and a better GPU, but like how how much improved that they like, how much more improved that they over the original PS4? Mm-hmm. My head's gone flat. But the best melting. way to think about this is, if you are a hardcore gamer, um, but you can't afford it, that you don't really need to invest in this. It's mm-hmm. not going to improve your gameplay. There are maybe some games that competitively run at 60 frames per second, but they're not going to run at 120 frames per second on the PS4 Pro. It's just that some games that could only render in uh, 30 frames per second, i.e. Uncharted 4, that oh. will be now in 60 frames per second on a PS4 Pro with 4K resolution. Uh, so like, and yeah, just better foliage. It's all about those shrubs, I tell you. It's all Take about me back the to shrubs. the 80s where everyone had a bush. It's all about the <laughs> What I, is with you? I, I, I'm doing, not, man. I don't know. It's just, the, the whole conference just seemed like a fucking pain in the arse because they were like, oh, you can get better, like better visuals and stuff like that. But at the same time, like visuals don't make great games. I no. Think. The, like if you look at um, Uncharted One and the Last was, there's a huge fucking difference. But that was made on the same console. Or if you compare fucking, what was it Duke Nukem Forever to like any Naughty Dog game, is shits all yeah, over. Yeah. And they're both made on the same console. Mm-hmm. So like better, you know, better CPU and GPU upgrades doesn't really mean shit. Mm-hmm. It's all about how well the game is optimized and how well it's made. And just you know the story and the gameplay that trumps fucking everything. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter what your visuals are. You play a game with no sound. <laughs> you just listen to the subtitles, and the story will still be better than half of the games out now. Mm. So that, that, that's like when, when people mention, "Oh, look at the fancy CPU or the GPU." I don't really give a shit because like that, that, they don't make great games. It's all about the story and the gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, I only think the CPU and GPU is just there to make the VR run better for when that comes out. With it, that's the only reason I think this PS4 Pro exists. Really, is to make mm. the the VR run better or the Morpheus, whatever the fuck it's called now. Okay. Oh, the Matrix. <laughs> Plus, the design of it, it just looks like a double cheeseburger. Did you know? I that? was just about to say, what did you think about the size of it? it <laughs> the looks... design, it just looks like a double cheeseburger. It looks like it two cannot... PS4 Slims on top of each other. I know. It, <laughs> it looks like a double cheeseburger. The design is fucking awful. <laughs> I mean, why could... <sighs> it just, just looks, looks like a absolutely disgusting. Mm. The Slim. What is... In fact, just, just before we get into edges. what is with Slim consoles looking shit? Every yeah. generation, the PS1 Slim looks shit. The PS2 Slim and Ultra Slim look like cheap mm. crap. PS3 Slim, I was forced into it. The so PS3 that... Slim wasn't as bad as the Slim to come out after the, that's the, what the, the, that one. Because Ki- Kiara has that one, the one with the little like fucking um, oh, the little fucking case thing that you slide over, yeah. whatever the fuck it's called. That thing is shy. It just looks so bad. It's the, the PS3 Slim though. That, that was okay. That was probably the best Slim they've done. Well, mm-hmm. this the slim after that was fucking shite, and this one just looks like a PS PS4, except it's it's round edged and it's like not skewed. Mm-hmm. It, just, it looks ah no whatever. And I mean, PS4 it's Pro still looks like a cheese in terms of um, uh, dimension, it looks like the same, mm-hmm. just ever so slightly smaller. It's mainly <laughs> the thickness of it that's decreased. Yeah. So. I don't see the point in making a slim. Like it was, it, it was, it was slim enough as it was. Like the original PS4. I know it's like for energy and you know, fucking power consumption or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, still, it's like the PS4 is still fucking tiny. Yeah, I, in I comparison to most consoles that were released in mm-hmm. their first iteration. Yeah, that big Xbox One, that big bitch. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. The Intellivision, the Atari. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, true. Uh, Sega Saturn. Mind you, that didn't get slim. So how much? How much is the slim again? I have here two fifty nine. Is that right? Two twenty. Two. Is it? Two twenty nine. Yeah. Fuck! Like I must have got the American price then. I have two fifty nine here. Oh. Yeah. Fuck it. It's all the same. <clears throat> but yeah. Um. What, what? Another thing that really annoyed me was that there was no game, no new games shown, shown off for the PS4 Pro. They were just showing except... more footage, except Mass Effect Armada. That three D platformer. Yeah. <laughs> They've gone from space to 3D platforming now. Mario better watch out. <laughs> Fucking... Are you still playing as Shepard in that one, or is he fucked now? No, he's... You're playing as two new people, but... Oh, yeah, um, right. If you make... If you choose with the guy or the girl, mm-hmm. you are brother and sister. So, yeah. Is there any incest? 
Why did you have to say that? <laughs> why why do you have to immediately go to shit like that? Because it's... You know, they, they have a new CPU and GPU. I just want to know, do they have any incest? Shut up. Will do it be 4K? <laughs> <laughs> be quiet, be quiet now. I'll stop, I'll stop. Yeah, there you go. Uh, PS4 Slim 500 gigabytes is £259. Ah, so I was right. Uh-huh. Get shrecked. I'm I taking over apologize. the podcast now. I am stupid. Hi, guys. Welcome to the podcast... Uh, What's it called? Podcast Select. <laughs> um, yeah, there was no no new game showing off, really. It was just a little bit more fudge. Like, mm-hmm. could you call the Mass Effect gameplay gameplay? I don't he think was it was. It looked on more rocks. like cutscenes than walk, yeah. jump, walk, jump, cutscene activate. <laughs> it, see, it does seem like it was 8% cutscene and 20% of walking in a straight line. Yeah, and, and popping as well. Yeah, boing, boing. it's it's a 3D platformer now apparently, but I have to say the the tiny little slice of gameplay that we saw for uh, Horizon looked pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Just the fact that she was climbing up the whole thing, and I was like, wow, this is actually a lot bigger than what I looked at yeah. before she started climbing. It. I was like, fuck, this thing's big, but it's pretty much just a walking uh, vantage point from Assassin's Creed, <laughs> is what I got from it. I was thinking more um, Shadow of the Colossus vibes. Yeah, it's a, a mix of the two. Mm. Kind of. Nah, it looks cool. I'm not, I'm not really into dinosaurs, though. But, fuck it. It's all but what about it robot about dinosaurs? Oh, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say a robot? Oh, a God. robot. Right. PS4. Shit. Do you know what that could be, right? Control. If you paint oh, right. her blue and make her super fast. Uh-oh. This could be Sonic the Hedgehog. Because <laughs> fucking Dr. Uh, Eggman or Robotnik, whatever the fuck his name was. Doesn't he just make robot animals? Don't ruin the franchise. Doesn't he just play years. robot animals? Don't ruin Sonic for me. Holy shit. Sonic Horizon crossover confirmed. <laughs> you know what? I thought you were going to go with Avatar. I honestly thought you were oh, going to smart and go with Avatar, but no, you there's had no, to go. There's no, there's no robot. I know what's blue. Fucking there's no robot Sonic. machines. There's no robot machines. Well, there's no animal robot robot machines in fucking Avatar, though. I'm just saying, in Sonic, don't they make robot animals? Yes. No. They make robotics. And then they put real life animals inside of robotics to harness a life force. Ah, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, right. Horizon Sonic crossover. It's happening. So, what did you think of the PS4 controller? Is it worth a redesign? It got redesigned. Oh, did you not notice? It <laughs> has a strip so you can see the light. Oh. <laughs> Take my money. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Why would you redesign the controller? There's like nothing really wrong with it except the no. light bar. The uh, the. But you need that for VR. Thumbsticks now, have been redesigned slightly, so they went okay. more worn as out as fast. I thought they fixed that ages ago. I thought that was only a problem with the first few batch of like controllers. Because I don't know where's my place. Ah, oh, fuck, they're not here. It's so not I have it. like the original black controller, and the thumbsticks are gone. They're just yeah. fucking gone. Then I bought a new blue one, and the tome six are fine on that. Mm. I thought they all. Okay. Oh, fuck it, no more. I need a new. Control. I thought they always. I, I thought they fixed that like after the first few complaints. Mm-hmm. Right, I don't know what so that rubber was made out of either. <laughs> it's made P- out of fucking styrofoam. <laughs> PlayStation VR uh-huh. is obviously going to benefit through the camera. Yeah. What do you think of the camera design? They designed the camera as well. Oh my god, dude! What the? Were fuck? you watching the same conference? As I me? was watching the conference. <laughs> When the fuck did they redesign? What is this? The camera has been redesigned circular. So it's just round now? It's round now, yes. To be honest, I don't think I missed much. <laughs> How, what? It's a round camera? Okay. The yeah, I'm going to quickly Google it's this. More, it's more like um, a cylinder than a cube. So while you're typing that, what do you think of the idea of bundling the PSVR with two move controllers? I think you have to do it. No one has move controllers anymore, do they? No. I think you have to do it because... Yeah, I'll go on to that in a minute. Um, yeah, they they should bundle it with it. Or at least give you give you the option to buy it with it or without it or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, you, you need you need the fucking PlayStation moves. You can't, you can't do that without it, can you? No. Oh, this is what the camera looks like. Yeah. Oh, the difference. <laughs> it's just fucking around. Like, there's no, there's no difference at all. What it's, is this? It looks oh, it's got better. two cameras on it now. Buy it and, now. Yeah. I didn't miss much. No. Oh, is this the new controller? Yeah. That's the only improvement. Yeah. Wait, no, those thumbsticks, I have those. 
That's on my new controller that I bought. Ah. Right, so the thumbsticks are what fucking What about the D-pad? The D-pad? Aye. They changed the changed? D-pad? No, it doesn't look changed. It's just the light bar. Ah. Hey, you, you guys didn't like the light bar that we originally had, so now we added another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, they say it's designed just so you can know which colour you are. Why can't I just... Why can't I just recognize it? Oh, yeah. I'm player green. Okay, like, I, I guess I'm. Green. It takes like a split second to be like, oh, like you, you just twist it, face it, and it's like, oh, All right, I'm green. Cool. Yeah, that's a. Sh- sh- it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's, a, it's what a waste of time. <laughs> what? What the fuck? And they um, must have spent thousands Jesus. of dollars to research the redesign. Like, guys, what do we do? What do we do? They don't like the light bar. What should we do? Add another one. <laughs> we'll make them like it. They will grow to love it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even like a noticeable thing. It's like a tiny little strip. Ah, poor Sony. Oh, poor Sony. Right, so Jesus. obviously we're both disappointed. Can I say one more thing, though, about okay, the VR yeah. with the move controllers? Uh huh. Do you know that game Time Crisis? Yeah. Bring back all of those yeah. into one collection. Remaster that. I don't know why they haven't. Also, I pay that shit. They bundled PS uh, Time Crisis 4. Time Crisis, Storm Crisis, and another game I can't remember off the top of my head. But they bundled three of those games, and you could only use the move controller with it. Mm. That pissed me off, because the only game to use the uh, Gun Con 4 uh, light gun, you remember Mm. that, was Time Crisis 4. And it came with an analog stick on the right side, so you had to (laughs) dual wield it. And it's I hated that design. I hated the fact that you had to use both hands for this light gun but hey they should do that they should remaster it, uh, all the time crisis games just be like here re- release for a uh, re- un- unreleased it with the PS4. vr time crisis <laughs> vr that's what i was saying the whole time vr time crisis vr that'd be so oh, sorry. cool i thought you just meant remaster. also you know that boxing game fight night make that in vr as well that would be fucking sick they did something like that though it was a fight uh fight club no it was some yeah no that that was like a really shit fucking game. On about I'm on about like triple A force person boxing game with VR. It would be the coolest fucking thing ever. Mm. I I like I, I was saying that just before the conference started to to Ryan. The fight I was, like, I was right. The fight was like, yeah it was called the fight yeah. I was like it they they should make one. They really should. I would buy like twenty of those. That would be fucking awesome. I just wish they had the light gun. I yeah. really wish they. Uh, well, don't they just bring out a little like plastic gun that you just sit the move controller in? Didn't they have one of those when the move they, came they out? They did, had the gun and then they had an assault rifle as they well. They did, but I like to think my purchase or my parents' purchase at the time was worth it. Mm. <laughs> Rather than, here's one game to use with this one accessory that costs £80. What was the best game that used the move controllers? Probably uh, a bit of Kung Fu Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh that game was oh. I think the Playstation Shivers. Athletics to be mm. honest yeah, because yeah. that was the one that was purposely designed for move if you can count uh, games that included move controls then I would say Bioshock Infinite because there was an option to not use yeah. the move controls and you could just play the game normally <laughs> Yeah. where's that Vita game by the way that Bioshock Vita game come on <laughs> running out of time I'm still waiting I'm still waiting no it's cancelled yeah they should make a VR game for a uh, fight night and time crisis they agree it's all you need it's the only two games you need <clears throat> right anyway. so before we move on yeah what do you think they could do to improve improve the conference do you think obviously we both know in fact the entire world knows because we've heard from various uh, podcasts and news outlets including us kind of funny ign game swap blah 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 everyone says we don't need this sort sort of thing mm-hmm. right we don't or they, they say or they say that it's not necessary mm-hmm. do you think they should have just waited i think they should have waited a year but then if they are actually really trying to bring this out well, it's confirmed now, but like it, this, this console is only to make VR run better. Because other than that, there's no other fucking reason to do this whatsoever. You're absolutely shitting, like all over everyone. Mm-hmm. They're shitting on Xbox. They're shitting all over Nintendo. Like but no one's even is, close PS... to the sales. So there's no point. Four K TVs are slowly coming into it, but Be- I mean, really slow, ever so slowly. Yeah. So obviously, they're not going to. Uh, 
produce as much PlayStation 4 Pros as they are going to do with the yeah, true. now mm-hmm. default PS4 Slim, which is technically just the PS4 now. So mm. they're going to make more consoles with those because, one, they're going to sell better because more people have normal yeah, HD TVs mm-hmm. and it's cheaper. So the parents are going to buy it for that reason alone because they're not going to know. Go, oh, he wants a PS4. Oh, there's a PS4. There you go, grandchild. Yay! Thank you so much, Daddy! <laughs> Granddaddy! Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so- I think they really should have just waited a year, to be honest. Like, th- there's really no rush. You're so far ahead of everyone else. You can give them a few months to try and catch up. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they do get really close to catching up, it's like, bam, new PlayStation, get fucked. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think they really should have waited. I think they're just an unforced error, really. Right, so it's a man. if they were to make a new PlayStation meeting for mm-hmm. the PlayStation 5.5, and they had to do something similar, what do you think they should mm-hmm. do to improve? Do you think they should have more gameplay of new no, yeah, games? They, they definitely should should show more gameplay because I think what most people what what when most people look at like console gaming and stuff, they're not thinking about it as if they were like a PC gamer. If mm-hmm. you talk to any PC gamer, they know a load of shit about CPUs, GPUs, all this fucking RAM, all this fucking shit. When you talk to console gamers, it's like ah, I don't really care about all that stuff. I just want to play games with my friends. Yeah, yeah. So you need to show more gameplay. Having a Mark Sony coming out on stage and being like, oh, HDR, HDR, HDR. See, the thing is that the way they were speaking, they were talking to developers and the industry yeah, in general. Yeah. So to say, right, so we have all these teraflops. We have this. So they know what the fuck they're talking about and what they're yeah. listening to. But if we're watching it, Life, it's just, it's like not we interesting would do. at all. It's not interesting to us, and mm-hmm. it does not benefit us. If they were going to do this again in the future, they should do what they did with the PS4 announcement. Yeah, you know, just cater you, to the gamer. The, the well, no, not necessarily people. that. Have your technical speak. Have your talk. Yeah, but don't, don't have the, the whole conference But have just be about... something that mm-hmm. the gamers who have no idea what they're talking about can relate to. For example, when the PS4 was announced, did you see the demo of those balls falling down? Yeah. to show the amount of physics and the amount of like balls. pixels can be rendered mm-hmm. in real time at once yeah, have yeah. that say right this is what the ps4 could do and this is what the ps uh ps4 pro can do have those physics don't just show foliage because we know you're gonna have um mm-hmm. slightly brighter physics and we know you're gonna have slightly brighter visuals physics better foliage and all that shit but show us under the hood what it's actually doing yeah the raw power of the machine the raw yeah because I, I thought it was really funny they were like instead of just being able to see like red and blue mm. now you can see like five other different types of red <laughs> <Yeah>. and blue <laughs> and i'm like i couldn't give a fuck i can't even name all the basic fucking colors i know right. fucking yellow red black blue green fucking pink that's as far as my color range goes if you're if you come up to me and you're like now you can see fucking teal and stuff like that i'm like i couldn't give a fuck me <laughs> who even likes teal fuck off i'm or not giving you my beige money. Do you, hey, hey guys, do you guys like beige? Or fudge. Yeah. Here's a slightly slighter darker brown <laughs> for all those fucking mud textures. Mm-hmm. Mate, I don't care. <laughs> Couldn't give a shit. Yeah. They, need, they just, I, I wish they just showed more gameplay. The mm-hmm. gameplay they showed was either, like, with Mass Effect, it was a shit, a shit fucking gameplay video. Mm-hmm. He literally was just jumping on rocks and pressed the button. It's pretty yeah. much all that happened. Horizon was pretty cool, but it was a bit too short. But they didn't show any new game that we haven't seen before. It was just all shit we've already seen. And then at the end of the conference, the guy was like, here's a montage of all these great, cool games you can play on the Pro. And it was literally just a montage of everything we just watched. Yeah. From, like, a gameplay, gameplay fucking standpoint. It was just it, it was just a waste of fucking time. Mm-hmm. They, didn't, they didn't show any anything new, anything cool. They showed, like... A, Days Gone, or The Last of Us 2, whatever you want to call it, where he just throws them a lot of uh, crowd of zombies, and he's like, look at all those colours. I'm like, mate, it's it, it's pitch black. Yeah. All I can see is orange. It's like 50 <laughs> different shades of black, yeah. brown, and grey. Yeah, yes. it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. Just, but that's the just thing is, PlayStation have put themselves in a bit of predicament, and even Xbox mm-hmm. have put themselves in a predicament. Obviously, they're going to want to cater, so it's like, right, if you want... uh to upgrade you can but don't feel like you have to you can still get the same great experience but you just won't have the better graphics you won't have the better frame rate blah 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 blah. so yeah. they couldn't have came out and said right we're going to show you a game that could only be possible on ps4 pro but we somehow yeah. made it on ps4 because it just doesn't roll off 
uh, yeah. tongue like The stupid that, thing so. about that is that like even games released on the PS4 could have been possible on the PS3, really. If you think yeah. about it, like that whole thing about Shadow of Mordor and the Nemesis system only working on PS4, that that's bollocks. You, you could have got that to work if you really tried. Mm-hmm. If you if 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 that was like Naughty Dog or something, you would like really do perfect everything that they do with their games most of the time. That like they, they could have got the Nemesis system to work just because who made Shadow of Mordor again? Who was it? Shadow of Mordor. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, there you go. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it was some sort of Ubisoft game. Hold on. <laughs> it definitely was. Ubisoft, uh, but yeah, um, like if if that was given to someone who really really wanted to get that system to work on the PS3, they would have gotten it to work. And that, that's another thing I don't like about releasing this new console with better specs is because we Monolith haven't even productions, by the way. What what was it published by Ubisoft or something? Because there was a whole thing about them stealing code from Assassin's Creed, wasn't there? Yeah, but it doesn't mean yeah. that they can. Yeah, I know, but yeah. Anyway. Um, what I was saying was, um, we haven't even mastered the consoles that are published out now, by Warner really. Brothers. I thought that's what it was. Oh, right. Oh, it, it, yeah. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I was saying there was, we haven't even mastered what the PS4 can do already. Mm-hmm. Like, it's only been out a few a few years. Like, with the PS3, the difference between Uncharted 1 and the last was is fucking huge, and that's on the same console. Mm-hmm. So I think releasing another console out now just kind of. Uh, well, what was I going to say? It just it, it holds the PS4 back from what it can really do. If you really push it to the limit, like I'm just my main concern is I'm worried that they're going to optimize it for PS4, for, mm-hmm. uh, sorry PS4 Pro, and then they're going to go right. It can easily run on the normal PS4. Let's just turn down the foliage, and then that somehow makes it. What I'm trying to say is they're going to make it for the PS4 Pro, mm-hmm. and then they're going to flick a switch, and then it all of a sudden it runs on the PS4. So hardly any development is needed but as a result of that they're going to fuck up there's going to be more glitches on the system and yeah. then we're going to be fucked there probably be- won't be for a year maybe yeah because like playstation's like we're going to support and support but after like a year year and a half that's be- gone because when the <clears throat> the division first came out there was like there was a news uh buzz about the fact that you could change settings and have high frame rate or <laughs> better graphics and it was like wait a minute is this what we're going to get on the ps4 pro uh the next generation of playstation 4 mm-hmm. and it was like yeah that's pretty much what's going to happen but that means that if they if they're going to give you the option to put those settings on or it's going to be an automatic thing that it detects that you're only putting out on a uh 1080p is going to go right let's put down the yeah put it's, down it's the really weird uh predicament because no publishers have to make a game for PS4, PS4 Pro, and then if their game's out on VR, they need to sort that out as well. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of, they're developing for like three separate things, just from one, just for one console manufacturer. And then they also have Xbox, and then they also have PC with their VR and their whole fucking thing. So now you're you're making like so many extra different, ver- uh, so many different versions of the same game. I mean, like multiple you're, fucking things. You're learning to be a game developer, aren't you? Or you have done? Yes. Right. Well, I'm still learning. Right, so if you're developing for um, a PC, for example, do you have to keep in mind, will it run on two different uh, graphics cards? For example, can yeah, this no, game run at 720p that's... and can this run at the maximum 1080p? Yeah, because w- when you have like different graphics cards like NVIDIA and fucking all, all the rest of them, like you have to keep in mind which one does what and h- how well it can perform. Because like, NVIDIA has its own like NVIDIA physics mm-hmm. fucking thing and all this sort of shit. So and then you're also making stuff for Xbox and PlayStation. So you're gonna have to keep. It's just you're gonna have P- PC is probably the hardest thing to optimize for because there's so many different components. Mm-hmm. And P- play consoles are usually probably the easiest, I would say, because it's a set list of specs that can't change no matter what mm-hmm. until now with the new with the PS4. So Pro. the P- so when it comes to PC gaming, you have to think about right Nvidia or t- Radeon. Yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. right. So, because they each have their own different physics, which is hard to optimize. But with the PS4 and then the PS4 Pro, all it is is basically more power. They yeah, haven't, pre- cha- they much, haven't but... changed the chips. They've just made it a powerfuler chip. So Yeah, pretty much. But you, you still have to try and program. optimize it and stuff, especially if you're building it for the PS4 Pro and then have to dial it back mm-hmm. to the PS4. There's a whole, there's going to be a whole like ordeal with that, and you're going to have to try and sort that shit out. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm worried about now is that after like a year, two years, games won't be made for PS4 anymore. It's just going to be PS4 Pro, and then you're just, just going to get whatever gets shit out. 
mm-hmm. onto the PS4 then after that. So that's kind of worrying. So we, we, we will be forced to buy a PS4 Pro within the next two years, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. So even if you're not buying one now, you're going to get forced to fucking do it regardless. Because games will stop being optimized for PS4. And they will just be PS4 Pro optimized instead. Mm-hmm. Like developed for that certain machine. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a tricky predicament. Especially for like fucking game developers. Because now they have two extra things to uh, optimize their games on and shit like that. And plus you have to go bring it through certification and stuff. Which costs time, money and yeah. resources. And the fact that old games can be patched is going to cost developers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the might... Like there's been speculation about our game developers going to be forced to pay for it, and uh, Sony have came out and said, "Well, some yes, some no." Could you be more specific? Well, <laughs> it depends. Depends on what. Um, do they Stuff. need more time? Do they? <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever. We'll just we'll just take your word that it is possible for them to patch their games up, but uh depending how much they need to patch it up may cost them because i know that if you're patching a game um it they would be free for the first few times dep- or depending how big the yeah, size yeah, like the four, but the if it's one or two yeah, or something as but as if as it's as. like a really big size or you have to update it constantly it'll be like whoa 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 we're taking resources out of here now we you are putting us down so you have to pay us as a way to like keep mm-hmm. up with the cost and it was like right and that's how they make the money so all the money I think that's why they said it might be possible for them to pay. They might be paying. They might not have to. And it's like, well, if it's easy for them to uh, update it for the PS4 Pro, they probably don't need to. But if they need to do a lot of programming and a lot of file size to make it mm-hmm. possible, then they probably will have to. Also, pay. games like uh, Surgeon Simulator pops into my head for like VR and bring it out on PS4 Pro. So you'll have to make the VR now for a PS4 and PS4 Pro, and then also release out on the PS4 Pro. So you might have to do like a bunch of fucking updates for that to happen. Mm-hmm. And you have to keep sending through Sarah. So they're, they're going to have to pay money now to bring in the VR patch, the fucking PlayStation Pro VR patch, I'm guessing, and then also bring it out on the PS4 Pro as well. Right. Unless so do they like need really certification to patch system. it? Uh, I think with, with, with a good few updates, yeah. It, it, well, I think it depends on how big they are. Like, if you're doing a massive update, they'd be like, right, hold on, let's just have a little look at this for us and see. Right. But I think like little day one patches, I don't think really affect anything mm-hmm. so we'll fucking see what happens i'm just interested to see how many people buy this fucking machine <laughs> how many do you think we'll buy we'll buy it I how many do you think have 4k tvs <laughs> <laughs> i is the one guy in terms of what we've got now so we'll say i reckon the ps4 pro is going to sell in the first year two out of ten of what we've got now. So, for example, if we've got 80 million... Uh, no, I'll, I'll say a more rounded now. 100, because I can't do math. 100 million <laughs> uh, units have been sold of the PS4 at the mm-hmm. moment. I reckon within a year, 15 to 20 million units of the PS4 Pro will be. Because you are going to get a ton of diehard fans. And people are just going to go, well, I've got the money. I was going to pay the same amount for the PS4 anyway. Mm-hmm. This PS4 Slim, I've still got the money set aside, so I might as well get the newer consoles. So, yeah, yeah we'll see what happens. I, I, be they priced anyway. it really well. They've no, yeah, yeah, no. The price, the pricing is probably the fucking best thing to come out of that conference. Yeah, three hundred fifty. It's just, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, go on. Mm-hmm. Well, like <laughs> I'll, I said, I'll people <laughs> would have been saving up, and then they didn't know how. Obviously, people knew this Slim was going to be cheaper, but they didn't know how cheaper. And then the PS4 yeah. Pros announced ago. Well, I've saved all this money up. I might as well carry on saving the extra twenty quid to get the new one. But yeah, the extra hundred pound or whatever. Yeah, yeah right. That's very reasonable. Right, <laughs> I believe that's enough. I think we've spoke good. Yeah, my brain's done. <laughs> we spoke wells. Yes, English we, bad. We, we spoke at the English of very well. Right, so yes, Dan, would you like to select the next segment? Is this the game? This is the game segment. Oh, this is the game. This is the the game game segment. Have you got your segment ready? I do have my segment ready. Holy shit. Do we need to explain what the game is first? Are we doing that again? Right, so this is a game we like to call Win or Affleck. Affleck. There we go, there's the Affleck. Basically, me and Dan will play a game, uh, a top five, top ten list or whatever it is that week. 
on anything in particular. It could be PlayStation, it could be gaming in general, it could be anything related to gaming, etc, etc. And at the end of the year, which is, wow, coming up really fast. Oh, yeah. I can smell the pizza already. Basically, the person who has the most the points job. at the end of the year wins a free pizza. Yum. It's just for fun. We will have to meet up and buy pizza. That, yes, you will. That could be your pr- Christmas present. Oh, really? Yeah. Good, because my birthday is five days after, so I guess I'll get the blowjob then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I win, Woo! easy money. Right, so Dan, right. it's your turn this week. What so is... my, my list, I couldn't find a, a proper website for this. Okay. So I just found a random website. Number one seems right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that the rest of the list is right as well. Um, so my... my bleh, Okay, you have 30 seconds to answer. <laughs> the list is the top five highest grossing indie games of all time. Right, when There's only is this five from? Here, so is this uh, end, ending in 2014, ending in 2015? Uh, the, the article was posted two months ago. Okay, so, so it's, just it's of quite all time. a recent one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, oh shit, let me get my Affleck phone. Uh, right. Are you going to buy the new iPhone, by the way? No, not the new iPhone. Fuck no. I'm no. worried I'll lose my earbuds. <laughs> that will cost me 150 quid. Just look at that. When, when, I, when like, I heard that, I was I... like, really? And they were like, yeah, no, it's a legit thing. They're doing it. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> what the up. fuck? <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's 30 minutes. I almost gave you 30 minutes there. Right? It's Shit. 60 seconds, you know, not 30 seconds. Oh, it is 60 seconds? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Shit. Okay. You're going to make me lose. Are you you ready? Right, 60 seconds when you're ready. 60 seconds starting on three. Three, two, one. Affleck. Okay, it's Minecraft. Ding. Okay, we've got tier... uh, tier, uh, Basically, Minecraft in 2D. No, no, just Minecraft is just... It's, no, no, there's one. another one called Tier on a, I, I don't know what it's called though. Oh, Terraria? No, yeah, there we there. go. No, that's not that. Right. Um, oh. Outlast. Uh, nope. No. Um, no. Joe Danger. No. Joe Danger. Uh, payday. In fact, no, was that Joe No. No, not Payday. Uh, <laughs> In 28 sh- seconds. Jesus 28 Christ, seconds. that time went fast. <laughs> it does, it fucking does. Uh, I've got loads, I'm just trying to think. Oh, um, Fez. Yes, number five. Fair's bit Ding trip. Dong. Runner. Bit trip? No. Ooh, bit trip's not on it. Braid. Yes. That's three. Oh god. What's There's the other two one? Two more. There's another one. I've got it on top of my head. It was the Does it begin with B? Oh, it was uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The chickens have come home to roost. <laughs> You got three out of five. That's actually really good. I think right. that's the highest we've ever gotten. <laughs> right. Let me just look at my Steam list because as soon as I see the name, I've oh shit. As soon as I see the name, I'm, I'm gonna say right. I've got that. Right. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Bear with me. Bear with me, son. Are you bearing with me? Grr. Are you bearing with me? Yeah, bro. Are you sure? Yes. Bastion. Yes. That's the other. I told one. you. Does it begin with B? Yeah. There's one more. Oh, Binding of Isaac. Nope. Ooh. Shut your mouth. I'm re- Yeah, but Bastion, I, I I, see that gameplay in my head and I was like, I know what I fucking know. What is it called? Um, Number four. Oh. It's the only one you didn't get. Okay. All right, are we going to do top ten? There is no top ten. It's only five. Oh, is it top five? All right, okay, yeah. then. Right. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you a hint, right? Okay. Mm. F- Florida... Hotline Bling. <gasps> really? That was I? Hotline Miami? Yeah. <laughs> Holy I shit, I didn't think that got... Hotline Bling Miami, or Florida. Wow. I, I yeah. knew it sold well, but I didn't think it sold that well. Yeah, appara- apparently. Uh, right, so what, over... what's the list? Mm. Number five, yep. Foz. Yeah, okay. Number four, Hotline Bling. Mm. Number three, Bastard. Or Bastion. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, Braids. Yep. Uh, number one, Craft Mine. Okay. But technically Very it's not nice. an indie game anymore, is it? Well, it was when it came out. Yeah. So, get off your fucking high horse, Jamie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, I still got the point. I'm happy. Yeah, well, you got four out of five. That's 
fucking well got oh, free. Jesus, I didn't get the job. fourth one in time, fortunately. Wait, did I get it? Oh yeah, no, no, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, you got three out of five. Yeah, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. You would have got a free point. It's fine. Yeah, that's the list. Right. I, I was expecting to see some other games on there, but what were you expecting? Yeah. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Actually, I don't. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm no, going no, no, to no. sound philosophical and be oh, intelligent yes. here. What were you expecting? Hopefully, he doesn't call me out. Please don't call me out. So I'm calling you out. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to think of indie games now. I can't think of any. No, yeah, uh, Binding of Isaac, yeah. Uh, I, I wanted yeah, that. Yeah, really I'm sure that game. wasn't on the list. I thought that um, would be... It might be in top 10, though. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. Fuck it. That's the list. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But what you did know. I say was Minecraft 2.5? Uh, Terraria. Tear- Terraria, yeah. Terraria or Terraria. Yeah. I can't say it's Terraria. I'll, I'll tell you what game should be on the list because it's criminal. It hasn't sold as much as it has. Super hot. Super hot. I, Super hot. I hate, you can play it I hate that for game, free. but at the same time, I love it. The game is so fun, but I hate the fact that it... That fucking... Super hot. Super, Super It hot. plays every time you lose... Uh, you win the game and the sh- replay show, and it's like... You just hear those words, super hot, over and over again. But it makes sense. I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a, a story Super. to it. And if you get to the end, it all makes sense why it's been repeated. But at the same yeah, time, it's annoying as fuck. I wish I could turn it off, but I couldn't. Super hot. So. Super. That's been the game. I got three points. We don't know what the scores are at the moment. We should probably count that up soon. Uh, we, we will do it. Okay. Eventually. We will do it. So, Dan. Yes. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? Ooh, I usually have something horrible to say. I usually say I don't have something to say, but then I go on a rant about something that I shouldn't talk about. Okay. So I'm going to say I don't have anything to talk about. Oh my god, that's the worst thing you've ever said, ever. Oh, jeez. Uh, I could talk about my shite. No, I'm good. That I had today. No, that's good. And oh, thank wait. you so much no. for listening to Podcast Select. I've been Jamie, and that has been the alcoholic known as Don't Dan. steal traffic cones, kids. Don't steal traffic cones. That They're is for cars the only. for Alcon. I can't believe that was so oh, reviewed. <laughs> also, when when someone says to you, yes, you can have a pitcher, but it's £10, and then they give you half a pitcher, yeah. smash them over the fucking head <laughs> with the pitcher. But that is all. To be fair, a lot, of, a lot of shops would sell you less than that, but fill it up with ice. True, they, they but there was no ice in that drink ice. anyway. They were just cutting it, out the ice. Also, also but it was too expensive. Buy, buy some hooch. I didn't have hooch before Alcon. I'm not on about prostitution, even though it sounds like it. There's an alcoholic drink called hooch. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about my hooch. I'm not talking about gooch. I'm talking about hooch. It tastes like it tastes like lilt. Mm-hmm. It's pretty nice. You know, I'd buy it if I were you. You know what? I ca- hopefully you have more. I came there like with two drinks, two yes. pretty much full drinks, right? And mm. I was expecting to get through at least a whole bottle and maybe half of the other. Yes. I got through half of one bottle, didn't even touch the other, and I came back with another bottle. <laughs> yes! I came back with a bottle of champagne that only cost £7, and it's absolutely delicious. I came back with Rest in peace, bottle oh, of champagne a like £10 bottle of Amaretto. Amaretto. Very nice and slush puppies. Is it? If you're, Yeah, no, yeah. I, I unleashed my inner 12-year-old, got a slush puppy, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going on a mad one. I put some Amaretto in it, and it was gorgeous. That's good. Right, so I've been Jamie from KaiMines.com. That has been Dan. Hi. From Guy Friends. Everywhere. On YouTube. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. I, I guess you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from everywhere. I'm Irish. And he's from KaiMines as well. Nah, I'm from He everywhere. likes to think he's from KaiMines anyway. Yeah. That's what we- I say to the ladies. I'm like, hey, have you heard of KaiMines? They respond, no. And I'll be like, well, you should. And then that's when I showed him the YouTube videos. <laughs> 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 Works every time damn then right I, I i'm like hey do you want some slush puppies like yeah sure Ten quid. then i realize <laughs> then i realize wait hold on i shouldn't be in this school and then i leave okay so thank you so much for watching and listening playstation nation it's been a good one it's been a good episode it's been okay it's been very bitchy episode but thank you mm-hmm. for joining us but until next time hopefully next, next time. week if not next time have a Maybe good one. tomorrow yeah. You never know. Never know. PlayStation might explode and then we have to report about it. Gonna get hacked again. Mm. The Great Depression that was. 
<laughs> anyway, catch you later, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye. Slon. Oh, shit. I ended the wrong thing. <laughs>